going forward to the techniques, uh, we've identified the goal of getting more visitors to your site as the basic uh, classic SEO uh, goal. And with that, I think it starts with the right site design. So if you haven't built your site yet, or even if you haven't built your video section yet, then that's classic for you, and it's easiest to accomplish. If your site is already built, then there's a few best practices that you can employ, and with minimal changes, improve your SEO significantly. So I think the first and foremost most important uh, item is to have a unique page for every video. Having a unique page for every video allows you to share videos easily, allows your community or your users to link back to your videos, which bumps up your page rank, and allows search engines to effectively link to your video. There's nothing more frustrating than you know finding a video in Google and then clicking the link and getting to a generic landing page uh, with a bunch of other videos, but not the one you're looking for. So to get there, to be able to link directly to a specific video, you have to have a unique page, a unique URL for each and every video. Once you have that, <coughs> you probably need an easy click path for the videos. Getting from your home page of your site into the videos in the least number of clicks, and uh, preferably having a video posted on your home page as well that leads to more videos. And that click path is important both for human visitors who are reaching into your home page and for spiders, meaning search engines that scans your site. So spiders typically go link by link and map your entire site. Once spiders get into your video page, your unique video page, they want to learn as much as they can about the content of the page. And to get there, the technique is to have everything you can within the HTML. So most of the uh, sites are still using Flash. There is some shift to, towards HTML5, uh, specifically drive by the mobile and the iPads and the iPhones of the world. But a lot of uh, video delivery is still done in Flash, and the search engines are having trouble to understand the content of the Flash. In order to uh, expose your video correctly, you have to have the name, the description, the tags, the transcript, and any other custom data that you have embedded within the HTML. If you can even interlink inside your page, your different pages, uh, that, that's even better. So having inter internal links bumps up your page rank and your SEO. So in here in the screenshot, I don't know if it's big enough for you to see, but if you have an a page with a director and a link that goes to all of the, those videos were uh, created by this director, then that's great. Or a category tag that links to all of the videos of this, that category, that's great. Now the next phase is optimizing your embed code. If your embed code is in a pop-up or a light box, then it loses the context and it cannot be indexed correctly. Another way of improving your uh, indexing capabilities is adding RDFA or SDML micro tags within the embed code. You can see a screenshot of that example here below. Those micro tags tell the search engine what is the content of, of this video. Naturally, in addition to the video itself, optimization of the page around it, having the right meta tags, within the page, the H1 titles, et cetera, is, is crucial and effective as well. And the, the last point uh, in here is to have the anchor text, the links to go to play each video. If it's show, show the video or play item, then it doesn't say much to the search engine. But if, uh, Alternatively, if you write the name of the video, a significant name, as a link to playing the video, it bumps up your SEO, because then Google can understand what is this link referring to. Last point here that I've missed is being easy to share, and that relates to having a unique page for each video. Being easy to share, easy to email content, 
friends, easy to post in Facebook, in Twitter, etc. And sharing of the content helps you in two ways. One, it's driving direct traffic to your site. And two, it gives you more links, incoming links to your site, which bumps up your page rank. So I've gone, reviewed here uh, items that are technical in terms of site design. Naturally, having a great content helps in getting attraction uh, from an audience. And having the right content of the uh, text description, of the name, of the tags, improving those so they fit the popular searches and they fit the content, they fit the video content is also critical. 